Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I am so happy that you're here. So um, this is really my first perfume haul, like perfume haul of 2023. I had a couple like small hauls for specific places. Like I did a Victoria's Secrets haul because I had never gotten any perfumes from them. And then I did a Zara haul because I had a chance to go to a Zara because I don't have a Zara like anywhere close to me whatsoever. And you might have seen one in January, but that, those were all like 2022 fragrances kind of finishing out the year. So this is basically everything that I've bought in the past two months. And it's a lot. And um, I think I've lost my mind. <laughs> I would swear, but you know, I found a couple deals for perfumes that had been like tugging at my heart a little bit and could I afford them? Not, not especially, but they did have, you know, three times pay on them or four times uh, dividing them up. And so I did it. Do I regret it? Just a little bit. Um, cause I have some very expensive fragrances here. I also have a lot of cheapies. So I found some from Target. I found one at my grocery store. I found some really great clearance deals from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So this is kind of the entire spectrum of fragrances from super cheapies, designer, uh, or I don't even know what you'd classify like mix bar as. There's spoiler, there's mix bar. Um, Cause they're not really designer, but I don't know where to put those and then all the way up to expensive niche that I, um, I, I found kind of a deal on and decided to go for it, especially because fragrance prices are insane. Like they've always been insane, but they keep raising them and raising them and raising them. Cause now I, I want to say the last time I looked, uh, Tom Ford now is 390. And when I got my Lost Cherry a few years ago, it was 335 I want to say. So that's, you know, $65 is a lot. Is that 65 55 I'm not a math. Like, I don't teach math. So, but that's a huge increase uh, in not too long of a time. When I got my Lost Cherry, it was before everybody got on the bandwagon of Lost Cherry, but I got it when Macy's had their 15% off. I did thanks for sharing. So I got 10% back and a gift card. And then it was also Rakuten with 10% cash back at that point. So used all of the discounts that I could to make it as affordable as possible. And some of these fragrances now are just, just insane. And I know, uh, the two fragrances have gone up recently as well. Cause I went to look at them and I was like, Oh, Wow. Okay. Enough of me chattering on. Um, let me know what fragrances you have purchased lately. Let me know what you think of the fragrances that I have picked up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, liking especially really helps out uh, YouTubers. So please, please give this a like if you remotely enjoyed it. We're going to start with Mix Bar because I've already mentioned them. I picked up two of these from Target. They were doing a buy one, get one 50% off deal at Target. And I was like, okay, I'll pick up two. I was actually went in to try the new brand Finery that everybody's been talking about. And my stores were basically decimated and I smelled a couple of them. And there's a couple that I was kind of like, well, those are kind of interesting. I might, I might want to try to get that at some point but they didn't have them in stock. I smelled it, not another cherry. I don't, I don't need a dupe for lost cherry. Like I have three bottles of lost cherry at this point and I have at least one uh, official dupe. And then I have Zara's cherry smoothie and I probably have something else. Uh, lost cherry. I did not. So I bought my one bottle years and years ago back when, before like it hit and it was supposed to be limited edition. And then they did an extended run and all of that. Um, and then influencer sent me a bottle of, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry as well. So that one I did not pay for, which I'm, I'm ecstatic. You can give me a second bottle of that 300 some dollar perfume. That's fine. And then I did buy one out of Russia on eBay. Uh, cause I was buying another fragrance from the same seller and I was like, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to test my luck on it. So I do have three bottles of Lost Cherry. Yeah. 
So I decided not to get that. There was a couple other ones that I was like, hmm, kind of interesting, but they didn't have them in stock and I didn't feel like going on to Target and trying to order them. I just, I don't know. Like if I'm there in the moment or I'm feeling like compelled to buy something online at, in the moment, but I don't usually go on and I'm like, I, I think I'll go searching for perfumes. That's not not who I am. The perfumes I got, I'm rambling. This is Mix Bar Pear Blossom. I decided to pick up this one. They did not have a tester of this one out, I think. One of these they didn't have a tester of at all. And I'm trying to remember. And then the other one was broken, so I couldn't like get sent out. It was missing the sprayer. These are my first Mix Bar fragrances. I do have a body and hairspray of the tangerine one that was on clearance, but that is my only experience with Mix Bar. So this is supposed to be a freshly picked pear with bright floral buds. Uh, that's all it says. I'm not getting a lot of pear from it. It definitely feels very much like a light floral with, you know, some sweetness in there as well, but I wouldn't necessarily pinpoint this as a pear fragrance. It doesn't uh, give me like the So Scandal, no, Scandal Au Paris or La Belle or Pear Ink. It doesn't give me an actual like true pear smell. I think Blossom is a good name for it. It kind of reminds me like if you had an apple blossom, but just slightly different. That's that's this one. Not too bad. Uh, not, not something super exciting or anything, but... Okay, and then this is the one that they had the broken tester of. This is Blackberry Tonic. And Blackberry Tonic is supposed to be wild blackberries and dark woods with an addictive vanilla. And I do like blackberries. I have the Philosophy, is it Falling in Love that has, it's a very blackberry heavy scent. Oh, this is very pretty. It does smell woody. Like I definitely get a woodiness to it, but I also have like a tart blackberry in there and maybe a little sweetness from the vanilla vanilla I do like this one I like this one better than pear blossom but I think these were because they ring rang them up like 25% off so I think they were 1750 each which is not too bad and then I picked this one up at my grocery store so Kroger is kind of a national chain and they keep buying up and basically you just have a regional version of Kroger and this was on the clearance rack for $15 and I went you know what I'm gonna pick it up this is uh, Brilliant, Brilliant uh, by Vince Canuto and this bottle is so pretty. I was not expecting it to have like the gold foil or rose gold foil on the side. I don't know what the notes of this are. Oh, this is uh, pretty. This is very sweet. It smells familiar. Like it kind of reminds me of Viva La Juicy Noir but a little more sweet and fruity, but it's, it kind of has a little darkness to it, but it also feels very sweet, very much a designer scent. I don't think it's great. I mean, I like it, but I don't think it's like super special. It might be a little strong for me. I would, I haven't worn most of these, so I'd be kind of curious to see how it, um, wears and if it uh how it mellows out on the skin but it's it's kind of interesting but like i said i got it because it was 15 dollars, and that was just too good of a deal to pass up next up is alta i only have one perfume from alta i picked this up on december 31st because i was trying i decided to that i was going to hit diamond because i was like a hundred dollars away from diamond at alta for last year i was pretty good like in years past, I've hit Diamond quite early in the year, uh, or maybe not early, but much earlier than December 31st. So I picked up this. It is Daisy Love uh, Paradise by Marc Jacobs. I thought this would be my favorite because usually I like the Daisy Love fragrances the best. I'm a little nervous about Oh So Fresh in the Paradise because it has lavender, and lavender gives me a headache. This, the notes are like whipped cream, iris, and patchouli, which is just a weird kind of combination like iris and patchouli I get but whipped cream just seems weird this smells like it has like a sickly grapeness to it though I I know I haven't done my review because this is the only one I've picked up this year I don't like this one 
I don't like this one at all. This is one that I sprayed on last night to let it develop and kind of like get an idea and I had to scrub this off after a while because it was just making me feel sick. There's something about it, I don't know if it's the patchouli that's turning it, but it smells sickly sweet. And actually I looked at Frank Grantica reviews after, cause I was like, oh, people are panning this. And I don't think, this is very different than the other daisies, but there's something kind of, I don't wanna say nauseating, but it's there's something really weird about it. I don't really get an iris to it. I get like, a, a sickly sweet patchouli with like an artificial grape in there and then maybe something cr kind of creamy. I'm not returning it because I have all of the others and I'm going to keep it. But this is one I would say don't pass on it. It's, it's not good. Um, I'm very disappointed in it. And I love that they were trying to do something so different, but I don't think it's a good perfume. I, maybe if you want to... I don't know. Test it in stores. Don't blind buy it. Um, it was, yeah, I'm disappointed, especially because they are almost $100 now. I think that, that one is 94 and then the other one's like 106 So they've gone up once again. And I, yeah, I'm not happy with it. Not happy with it at all. We're going to move on to Sephora. I'm going to show you the two miniatures that I have. First, I redeemed a 100 point perk for this Nest Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. I've been curious about these and I usually don't like to do 100 point perks, but I decided that this was worth it because it is a miniature and I do collect miniatures, so I thought I would give it a go. This one, I kind of like this one. I think I might like this one more than the vanilla one which is the only one that I have like really good experience with. I want to try the orange and I need to work with the Turkish rose. I do have a sample of the Turkish rose. I just haven't had anything to layer it with lately. So I think this is a nice coconut. I don't know if you need a coconut oil, but there's that. And then I got a miniature of Black Opium Le Parfum. I sprayed this in store. And I'm not a super fan of it. And yes, I have all of the other flankers in black opium, so I probably eventually will get this, but I'm in no rush to get it. It just, it's, it is stronger, so maybe if you want a stronger scent. But I just, I really, I don't know, there's something about it when I was spraying it in store. It's just like, I don't feel compelled to get this. This is not like the illicit green which is one of my favorite or uh intense which i know other people don't like but i really like the intense there's something about them that just smells so good and i really like those two those are my favorite in the line and this one this one is falling well now i'm smelling coconut um this one falls somewhere lower in the list um i don't know don't expect me to get it anytime soon i'm, I'm going to be waiting for it to go major discount. Believe it or not, I am trying to slow down my purchases and trying to be a little bit, I don't want to say more discerning, but like, unless it's a super great deal, um, I'm kind of waiting on perfumes. I have so many lines that I kind of just collected, I started collecting and then just kept collecting. So I'm trying to be a little bit more discerning about that. I'm surprised with the Marc Jacobs uh, Paradise line. They seem to be going in and out of stock quite a bit. And I don't know what's going to happen with them because I don't know if they've made as much stock or what, but it's been interesting to see them not available on various sites. Okay. These next two from Sephora, I redeemed scent certificate, scent certificates for, I got them last year or the year before I've had them for quite a while anyway. And I just, I took my time trying to decide which one I wanted to use because both of them, they had a few different scents that I was kind of like on the fence about and I really wanted to test out and I just haven't been very good about testing lately. So um, I did redeem them. They didn't take me any money out of pocket, but before these sets were like 60 some dollars and then I got them with the 20% off coupon. Uh, 
so they were much cheaper than they are retail. First up, I picked up the Nest uh, Golden Nectar. I knew I was going to, I wanted this one because I do love the Nest bottles. Uh, I think they are beautiful based on the artwork of an 18th century. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, I'll try to put a link down below that like explains and shows her artwork in the British Museum. This one is nice. I do like this scent. Does it tell me notes? This might. Golden Orchid, Amber, Vanilla, and Musk. I think this is nice. I think this is uh, cooler weather. I wouldn't wear this in the heat, but I also don't think it's like a cold weather scent. I feel like this is a good late March, early April scent. So I need to wear this one more. It kind of reminds me of Whispers in the Library just a little bit. There's almost something that's kind of papery about it, if that makes sense. Like there's a paper note, even though it's not listed there. And then the other one I redeemed for is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. So this is pear, rose, caramel, and vanilla. I picked this one up because I had the next perfume you'll see. I found a really good deal on it, so I decided to do that instead of redeeming my scent certificate for it. And I was thinking about Wild Vanilla Orchid by Floral Street, but that one is not available on Sephora right now, which is part of the reason why I decided to start redeeming some of my scent certificates because I had a couple, these were the older ones that were like folded up and uh, yeah. Mm, this one is very nice. This is very rich, very decadent. Uh, I would say the caramel is really strong in here, the caramel and the vanilla. The pear, it doesn't really smell like pear, but it might tame it down just a little bit. But look at the size, like the box versus the perfume. Like it's ridiculous. It's so much more box. The next thing I picked up was on sale for President's Day. They had it both on the Sephora website and Ulta, or not Ulta, Kohl's website. And I ended up getting it from Kohl's because it was sold out on the Sephora website. It is Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. This is the one that I was thinking about redeeming my scent certificate for. It would have been a better deal than the Seven Virtues. But um, this was $40, I think $40.80 for the 1.7 ounce and then the travel spray as well. And I decided that was a pretty darn good deal and a better use of like money and stuff, uh, a better value in the long run. This is gonna irritate me because this sticker hangs out just a little bit over the edge. So you have the 30 mil, not 30 mil, 10 mil size and then you have the 1.7. This. I've worn this before and I've just been kind of on the fence like it's okay but I don't love it but I sprayed a lot of this on my hand and it really developed so I feel like this is one that you definitely need to overspray to really get a good sense of it. If you're just using a sample I feel like I didn't get enough of it on to really appreciate it so definitely we'll be spraying more of this. Maybe, maybe I'll regret not getting a 3.4 ounce but I'm happy with the two that I have. I don't need gigantic bottles and everything. And I, I like, while I like this one, I don't know if it's a love love for me. I was hoping that this set would tell me what the scent notes are, but it doesn't. I want to say it has a pear in it too. It smells like pear to me. Like a very, uh, not an overly juicy pear, but a ripe pear that has a little bit of juice to it. But not the type when you bite into it, it like drips down your chin. Those are the pears that I love. It's good. It's not as good as pear ink. Like that's still my go-to pair, but I do like this one as well. Okay, we are moving on to Fragrance Net. I saw that they finally got the newer flanker of La Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain, and so I picked it up. This is Velours. This was like 50 some dollars, and I, Always look at Fragrance Net for a 37% off coupon because they will always have that. Sometimes it's best if you're just not logged in and you Google a certain perfume, it uh, will pop up a better deal than if you just uh, look with on, on the actual site itself. So I have many, many flankers of the La Petite Robe Noir. Let's see, there we go. So each of them has a little dress. This one is a little bit more citrusy to me than some of the other ones maybe a little lighter. It's not as dark as the EDT even. Uh, the EDP is probably the 
heaviest, but definitely still get some of that tea in there and there's a, a slight, I don't wanna say slight bitterness, but there is like something in there and uh, I wish it would give me actual notes, but I knew I, I needed this one for my collection because this is one of my favorite lines. And so I was very happy to finally find a way to get it in the United States because some of them are very hard to find. And then because I just like to look and see what are cheapies and if there's anything that I can throw on. This one was, I can't remember if this was 13 or $18, but it is Glitter Fantasy by Britney Spears and it is a 3.3 ounce. This box, it keeps flaking off giant ribbons of like glitter. It is definitely a glittery box uh, or glittery bottle. It has like a, almost like a sand texture, but not, you know, not like a sand sand, but definitely has some texture to it. I sprayed this one on last night. This is kind of your typical celebrity sweet, very, it's very sweet. Like I can smell it from here. Um, it's very sweet. It reminds me slightly of Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. If you have that perfume or if you remember that perfume, there's something about it that is kind of reminiscent of that. But I, I was just going to pick it up because it was inexpensive. Like I said, sometimes they're impulse buys for inexpe inexpensive fragrances, but, um, yeah. So glitter fantasy, it's, it's nice. It's, it's a fun one. It's one that's kind of just uplifting and you know, you want to smell nice and you just want something like, I, I like to smell like this. This is what I like to just smell to boost my mood. And that's what I use that for, to boost my mood. We've gotten to one of my expensive perfumes. This is from Max Aroma. I, I joined a perfume group on Facebook and somebody posted about a 30% off sale, which in the perfume world, we don't get 30% off of fragrances all that often. It's pretty unusual. So uh, to know that Max Aroma was doing 30% off was like, oh, very um, intriguing. So I went and looked on their website they had, uh, it was for certain brands, and they had the one fragrance with from the certain brand uh, that I was interested in, that I had been kind of like thinking about for the past couple years, uh, would never purchase this full price. So decided to get it for 30% off. Then the following week, they upped the prices on this entire brand, uh, $20 from, yeah, anyway, they went up $20 per bottle. And then, but then I found it on Fragrance Net for slightly cheaper and I was like, oh, shoot, I should have done that. Anyway, it's it's okay. Um, I have one of these bottles now. This is the only one I've been uh, super interested in. There's one that I kind of like to smell, but they're not perfumes that I have access to. I just lucked out that I was at an, the Nordstrom's in Portland when I was visiting my aunt and they happened to have this scent so I could smell it. Otherwise I would never purchase this blind. Uh, you're probably wondering what scent it is after all of that. Yes, I purchased Oriana from Perfumes de Marley. These are expensive fragrances. Oh my goodness. Uh, 300 some dollars. This was, I think, <sighs> I don't, this was right at 240 because I am doing four payments of $60 every two weeks for this fragrance. So that's what it looks like. It has a little tassel. It's hot pink. I love that. It has the little jewel on the top and this is a marshmallow scent. It smells similar to Love Don't Be Shy. It's, it's slightly different. I think I like Love Don't Be Shy just a little bit more than this one, but Love Don't Be Shy, um, isn't as unpretty of a bottle, that's for sure. So, yes, I, this is one of my insane moments. <sighs> Decided to get it, did not need to buy it, was still too expensive, and should have, should have looked around, but I would never have thought that these would be on Fragrance Net for actually, you know, a really good discount. So, um, yeah, that's on me. That was me being stupid and kicking myself after I saw that. But uh, that's that's me. 
Then we move on to Zulily. Zulily, uh, last year I signed up for their teacher's discount program where I got 10% off of everything for a year and it was like $25. So I was like, you know, I probably will make that back. And it, then they discontinued the program and they said we won't renew it. So I knew I had purchased it in February and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to uh, look for one last time before it expires. Like, cause it doesn't tell me a real expiration date. It says it expires in 69. I don't know if that's 2069 or 1969, but either way, it's, it's not accurate on the Zulily website. So I looked at the date I purchased it and went from there. So I picked up a couple perfumes. Uh, this one was $25. This is Moschino Cheap and Chic. I've wanted this one for a while. I have two flankers of this, but this is the original one and I wanted it because it looks like olive oil. <laughs> you know, Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh, he's strong to the finish because he eats his spinach. And so I, I just, I thought it was so cute. And um, this, this I feel like is a unisex scent. It's slightly aquatic, but it also smells kind of like a good men's cologne. Does it smell kind of like the original Old Spice? It might smell a little like the original Old Spice. Because my dad used to, or Edge Shaving Cream. There's something deeply familiar about this, but I can't quite put my finger on it. So pick that up. Like I said, it was 10% off of that price. It still is showing that I have 10% off. So I don't know what's going on with that or when it will end, but I'm not going to be like tempted because I, I have to pay off these first. With, since HSN and QVC and Zulily are all the same company, I used my HSN card and got three payments. So they split them up into three payments. So that one I don't really need to do, but these next ones I did. I picked up this set next. This is from Prada. This is the Le Infusions de Prada. De Prada. Um, this is interesting. This is a, supposed to be a set of seven miniatures of the infusions. So you have Iris, Iris Cidre, Fleur de Orange, Amand, Mimosa, Rose, and Mandarin. The packaging on it is beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the detail because of what's going on with the uh, weather outside, but there are, it's like embossed, it says Prada on it, it has like the Prada, uh, like you can feel it. Then you lift it up and it came with a little booklet and you look inside and it's, you know, really nice cardboard. It's, you know, hinged. And then you look at these and they look nice here. They look really cute when you, uh, when you see the picture of them. And then I went to pull one out. This is a Mond. They're cardboard boxes. They put a cardboard box over these. They're just, and then you try to take the lid off and it doesn't really work very well because it's pulling against the cardboard and they have a barcode on the bottom, but see, that's what they look like. They don't look anything like the full size bottles. They don't look nearly as cute. This whole thing that that's why I bought them. Cause I thought they were like the little green bottles. No, no. So irritated about this. This set was like $60. So they were just under $10 a piece, which is why I got them. Oh, oh, I just got on my nose. So, I'm happy to have them to try them all out, but would I have purchased this set if I had known that they just had little cardboard boxes over them and instead of like actually being beautiful bottles, like it looks like they were supposed to be? Why put in all of this craftsmanship on the outer packaging and everything? Just put little cardboard boxes on with barcodes. Why would you put barcodes on them? So yeah, that's... This one was very disappointing and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk my second exciting uh, expensive purchase and regret. So uh, this fragrance I had a decant of, I got from Royalty Scents, part of my scent sub, really liked it, was very happy with it. And then um, finished it up, was a little sad, but was not gonna pay full price for this fragrance. Thought about getting it 
during the Sephora VIB sale when it would be 20% off and then I could, you know, use the four time after pay for it. Was kind of my plan. Then I noticed that this particular brand, this is a Killian fragrance by the way, uh, had gone up from when I had put them on my lows list at 250, because one of them's discontinued, so it's still showing 250. They are now 275, so they've gone up yet again. They've gone up another $10. And I was like, oh man. Um, so then the calculated, it, it's going to be quite a bit more. So this particular fragrance was 236 and then I had my 10% off. So I was like, okay, so it's like 212. Not not too bad. Uh, Costco has it for 209. And I thought, oh, you know, it's three dollars. Not that big of a difference. Would rather have the three payments instead of like trying to scrape together uh, two hundred dollars, because I don't, you know, necessarily have two hundred dollars sitting around waiting uh, to buy a fragrance. So I went with that. Um, as I'm filming this, you're, this is the weekend before you're gonna see it, so. Costco decided to put a sale and put, put this sucker $50 off. Uh, Zulily, unfortunately you can't return fragrances. Uh, they have certain things you can return and certain things you can't, and then there's a restocking fee. So I uh, massively overpaid for this. I didn't massively overpay for this. I still got it for a better deal but man I would have rather have had it for 159 than 212 so much anyway it is good girl gone bad by Killian I really fell in love with this scent I also didn't realize I did get it for you know significantly less it's more than 20% off uh, but man the, the bottle is really heavy and like luckily I think with these you can yeah you can uh, refill them it's oh it spurted out that's not good I don't know if it's going to mix with I'm wearing scandal so I'm just impromptu layer so I do have this one I'm happy that I have this one it's one that has been um, you know egging at me a little bit for the past year and a half because I got these I think November 2021 one or two. yeah I've had it for I've had the sample for a while and I was trying to savor it and really enjoy it so I'm, I'm glad I have it but man I should have waited but between them not having a lot of these and then knowing that my discount could end um, I, I should have waited I should have waited we are on to the cheapies these came from TJ Maxx and Marshall's I think these were all ones that I was kind of on the fence about and then my mom was like I'm gonna get them for you so uh, thanks mom uh, first up we have enduring glow by JLo so there's a lotion and a little like wallet and a perfume I have never smelled this I had one JLo scent back in the day that I gave to a friend I think I had the Miami glow the one that had like the little thing on the side of it so interesting bottle very tall and skinny so we're gonna spray it I did a quick like search for the notes and I don't remember what they were but I was trying to like decide oh this set was $18 so that's that's why I got this set because it was $18 we're gonna spray it one more time This smells familiar and I don't know why. It's kind of a light, just kind of fun scent. I think this would be, this might remind me kind of of one of the Escadas. It's like right at the back of my head, just, you know, something is there. It might have just a touch of salt in it. Interesting. Um, we will see. I'm not sure if I love it. I don't hate it but I don't know if it's something that um, I'm going to be really excited to wear. But for $18 with the lotion, and then you also got this cute little like coin purse wallet. Uh, it's cute. I actually like it. Uh, yeah, not too bad. This set I was actually really excited to see. This is Davidoff Cool, Women, cool Water for Women. And this I had a sample of in one of my subs, and I caught it for nine dollars for the set for the no 
I got this from Scentbird, so it was like $12. And it does come with a lotion, this set, and this set was on clearance for $14. So good deals at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And then this is just a little baby, it's a one ounce, which is so much better than, you know, a eight mil for $12. This is just a really light, sweet scent. I really enjoyed it. It's slightly aquatic. Just kind of a fun, refreshing type of scent. And I like that it looks like a little bottle. It has like a dent in the bottom. Yeah, it's nice. And I don't think 14 was too bad. These two are just kind of backups, I guess you could say. Uh, first up is Dolce Shine. This is one of my favorite in the Dolce line. This was $28 on clearance. And this is the, it is one ounce. It's like stamped in, with no color. This was obviously uh, Alta, had been in an Alta because it has the Alta price sticker and the uh, label here. So for $28, I was glad because I really like this one, but I've been kind of conservative with it because I it's expensive and I didn't want to buy another one. So now I have a backup and I will be going ham on this this summer because it is, a, it, it smells like sunshine. Um, it really has mango. If I remember, it's, I'm pretty sure it's mango, but it's, it's really nice. And I, I'm really excited. This is going to be a great summer staple. And the other one I got was $14. Uh, this is Jason Wu. And honestly, like, I don't know much about the scent. I have a mini of it. I have a half ounce one. So I wanted uh, just a full size bottle and for $14, this is a three ounce, no, it's a one ounce. Just, you know, a larger bottle so it actually looks like the size of a perfume. Ooh, that's an, what is that? It's like a spice, it has uh, not like, it's like a warming spice. Not like a spicy spice. Hmm. I don't know, it's, it's just, it's fine. I just wanted the full size bottle and $14 was a good deal, I thought, you know? How, how often do you find $14 perfumes? Not often. Last perfume, then I have some samples I wanna show you um, and samples that I sent away for, I'm very excited about. So this one is from Vince Camuto. This is Capri and it was $18 for the perfume and the lotion. This is a one ounce perfume. I love the colors of this one. It's very pretty with the blue. Um, oh, the lid feels super cheap, way cheaper than the larger one that I showed at the very beginning. Uh, that one felt less plasticky. This feels very, very plasticky. Oh, this is just a nice aquatic, uh, a little bit more floral than aquatic. Yeah, it's fine. I think this would be a good pillow spray and I need pillow sprays because I've been using up my pillow sprays um, and this is a more affordable pillow spray for sure other than Aqua de Joya, which is pretty expensive. Quick rundown of samples uh, just to throw them out there. So this came with the Killian fragrance, which I wasn't expecting from Lily, but it's just like what these Nicole Millers smell like. I, I might smell them later on. This I'm just going to toss or pass along. This is a sample packet uh, or, you know, samples of Pat McGrath foundation, which is disappointing because I had requested a perfume instead. I did get one of the two perfumes I requested. This is Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I don't own that one. So always nice to have that. Then this one came with Max Aroma. This is Atelier Pacific Lime, which is a scent that I absolutely love and was surprised to get one of those because that's not available in North America anymore. Then I have, I want you forever excited about that one. Cause I don't own that one. Love don't be shy by Killian. Always will take a sample of that. Cause I love that stuff. Irresistible by Givenchy, uh, Givenchy. This is the rose velvet version. Uh, not sure. I love the rose velvet, but I will wear it. Aqua Allegoria Para Granita. I'm very excited to try that one because I have not tried that one. I'm also really excited to, this one I sent away for. This is the Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle, Honeysuckle Clementina. I think that might be a really nice one and that might be my first Erin that I get. I feel like, I just feel like that is calling to me. Um, then I have Floral Street Wonderland Peony. I already own a full size of this, so I'm gonna pass that along. And then I got, uh, Vanilla Sky by Skylar. 
I have been intrigued by that scent. I have not purchased it because it doesn't last very long, but I'm happy to have another sample. I had two offers of these right back to back, and these are the little freebies boxes from Bloomingdale's. They say Bloomingdale's 150 on them. I don't know if I'll, I have a couple of these that I've been keeping, but I don't think I will continue keeping them because, I mean, how many of these do I need? So first up, this is the Party Ready scene, Scents. So in here, it's going to tell me what they all are because I'm not sure I know what all of them are. So we have Alien Goddess Intense by Mugler. Then we have Gucci Guilty Gorgeous for Jasmine. Then this one is Tumi Kinetic, which is a male fragrance, I believe. That one I will pass along. Versace Bright Crystal. I like that one. I do own a full size. Uh, I also own this one, Valentino Born in Roma. Born in Roma. Then there's a Nishane. Um, I'm really excited about that. This is the Wulong Cha Extrait de Perfume. I don't know much about that, but I was excited to see that. Then there's a Cartier La Panthère. Uh, once again, don't know much about that. Burberry Hero, um, pass that one along. And then this is a Creed. I was excited to see Creed. This is Aventus. I think this is the male. Uh, it's just Aventus. It's not Aventus for her. I might, I might try it out though because it's you know you don't get to see that uh very often so that's the first freebies box then we have the last one and this is party ready beauty this one i'm very excited about because there's some crazy stuff in here tom ford lost cherry that is like they just sent me that then you have charlotte's magic serum i'm very excited about that that's skincare then we have this from clay de poe this is Le Serum. Does it say anything else? No. But expensive, expensive stuff. There's a Pen Heligans in here. I was so shocked to see that. This is the coveted Duchess Rose. You know, we got some good stuff in here. Aqua de Parma Lily of the Valley. Then we have uh, Bulgari Alle Alle Allegra? Allegra. I should know how to say that. Allegra. Um, and then Joe Malone, English Pear, and Freesia. I mean, these are boxes that show up in my Instagram uh, as a sponsored ad. They show up in my Facebook, and I always request them. Although I unsubscribed to a whole bunch of emails because I was getting overwhelmed with emails. So we'll see if I still get them popping up. Or if they're like, oh, no, she unsubscribed from all these places. So now I have a gigantic mess to clean up next to me. All of the samples I need to sort through. I need to clean up these uh, gift set boxes because I'm not keeping those boxes. I will keep the other boxes for transportation purposes. But let me know what you think of the haul. Let me know what perfumes you have picked up as well. Let me know uh, your thoughts on the price increases or fragrances you think I should keep an eye out for if they go on sale. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you for sending through this very long haul and I can't wait to talk to you next time.